Now the moment we've all been waiting for. The best Yamaha AVR in history. The very definition of control. Our new flagship, the RXA8A. Let me start by explaining. This isn't the best Yamaha AVR because it's got 11 channels or because it's got the most power. It's the best because it's the most delicate. It's an AVR that loses the least, holding on to as much detail and conveying the true intent of the artist. Without any of you being able to hear it yet, let us try to explain why. You may remember that we've improved our mechanical transformer isolation. Here is what you will find inside the RXA4A and RXA6A. The RXA8A takes this a step further and features a complete separation of the transformer and power amplifiers. Alongside the additional transformer plate, we have also installed four power amplifier supports to offer even greater vibration control and help retain even more of those fine sonic details. To provide an even more robust structure, we have also increased the bottom plate thickness by 30% versus the RXA3080, giving superior strength to the entire chassis. This is yet another reason for the RXA8A's outstanding detail retention. Additionally, it features our best heavy-duty iron feet, which have been borrowed from the flagship 5200 series. And don't worry, we aren't forgetting about our iconic fifth foot either. Despite many different opinions and feelings around this, our tests have revealed that the inclusion of brass inside the art wedge has provided an improvement to the overall sound. For the same reasons, we install brass plates or washers under the transformers inside the AS1200, 2200 and 3200 integrated hi-fi amplifiers, helping deliver a richer texture and depth of sound. Hopefully you can now start to understand why the RXA8A is built even more like a tank than the rest of the lineup. It's one thing to retain as much signal information as possible, but what have we done to improve the signal transmission itself? Let's review the onboard DACs. Inside, you will find dual Sabre ES9026 Pros, which feature an impressive 124 dB dynamic range and achieves a very low rate of total harmonic distortion. These are the same DACs we use within the CXA5200 flagship AV processor. Allowing the RXA8A to perform dangerously close to a separate system's audio quality. In addition to all of that clever number crunching, we've also tried our utmost to reduce impedance. And to ensure the least amount of resistance is applied against the sensitive audio signal paths. Which is why we have doubled the thickness of the copper tracks on our power amplifier and analog PCBs, now matching that of the MXA5200. To continue with the idea of low impedance, the gauge of power supply and ground wiring has been carefully selected to ensure effortless power delivery. And you guessed it, these are the same cables used within the MXA. Lastly, we've installed extra large custom block capacitors, making these the largest amongst the new range of AVRs. These help lower impedance and improve grip and drivability over any connected loudspeaker. But none of this tells you how it can make you feel or what it sounds like. Ultimately, you'll need to decide when you have the chance to listen for yourselves. What we will say is, it's beautiful, and it doesn't require massive amounts of volume to reveal what's actually going on within the music or movie score. It's wonderfully wide, providing a soundstage that stretches further than some hi-fi amps that you will hear. Largely, it's the grip and control it seems to have that impresses us the most. We simply can't wait for you all to hear it and share your thoughts. This now brings us to our Q&A session. If you haven't done so already, please post your questions as we take a short breather. See you soon.